for this afternoon's first race. Billings Amateur Trot, sponsored by the Delvin Miller Amateur Driving Association, Trophy Bar Art and Homestead Stable. And these are the horses. Number one, Birdzall Mark, Gladys Lanfair of Millersburg, Ohio. Ed Ryan, the driver. Number two, winning Pam. George M. Thalassi of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. Max M. drives. Number three, Cusell. Homestock Farm, Millersburg, Ohio. Leela McElmurray, the driver. Number four is scratched. Number five, Overstepper. Taylor Gower of New Egypt, New Jersey. Paul Menor drives. Number six, Mighty Bloom. Roy Brown of Ashland, Ohio. Joe Feraldo driving. Number seven, Crowning Glory. Joe McCluskey of Battle Creek, Michigan. Thomas Williams, the driver. Number eight, Matt and Zeke. Brent Davis, Zanesville, Ohio, owns trains and drives. Number nine, Will Mania. Leroy Amos of Navarre, Ohio. Greg Kydell in the sulky. Win play show, perfecta, trifecta, superfecta. First half, the daily double. Trotters are out and behind the gate. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Off and running. That's Matt and Zeke going right out to grab the racetrack. Honey inside, winning Pam gets away second. Up on the outside, Mighty Bloom settles in third. Fourth on the outside, Crowning Glory. Cuso gets away fifth. Racing six, Birds on Mark. Racing seventh, that's Will Mania. Down the backside, trailing the field. Over Stepper. All in straight alignment as they race over to the first quarter mark. Matt and Zeke. With the lead, opening quarter and 30 and one fifth. End of the turn, going to the three eighths mark. Racing right there, second is winning Pam. Running third, Mighty Bloom. Racing fourth, Running Glory. Racing fifth, Cusa. Sixth on the inside, Birds on Mark. Tipping to the outside, Will Mania. And trailing the field, but moving up on the inside. That's over Stepper. Passing us down to the first time, making a break. Off stride, that's crowning glory. At the halfway point in 103 and 1. 33 and 1, second quarter. As they race to the backside, Matt and Zeke with the lead. Winning Pam second. On the move on the outside, Joe Feraldo and Mighty Blue. Moving up, Neil third, racing fourth. As they race down the backside of the first quarter, Mark gets over Stepper. Racing fifth, Kuzo. Racing up six, crowning glory. Following that early break at the three quarter mark, 134. End of the final turn. Matt and Zeke and Brett Davis. Open up by three and a half. Winning Pam left in the dust. Racing on the outside. Mighty Bloom. Three wide. Four wide. Here comes Cuso with a late move. Down the stretch they come. Matt and Zeke with the lead. Winning Pam second. Cuso on the outside. It's all Matt and Zeke. Winning Pam. Cuso. Austride. So Brent Davis goes to the top and uh, rates a very, very, very soft second quarter here and just sprints away from him with Matt and Zeke. 29-3, uh, so. Dr. Stephen Reed. Number eight, Matt and Zeke. Brent Davis, Zanesville, Ohio. Owns, trains. And drives. Matt and Zeke, seventh win in 16 this season. A winner in 203 and 3. Final half, a minute and two fifths. The final quarter, 29 and 3. And for Matt Zeke, two in a row in Ohio. It's a family fair with Matt and Zeke. Super effective ticket, a lot of action there for the Buck. Matt and Zeke, the eight horse, 18 20, 9 20, 580. Second, the two, Winning Pam, 480, 380. Third, the six, Mighty Bloom, 480. Horses on the track and pretty to post. Second race. 
condition pace and one mile. Led to the post for assistant outrider Pat Edwards, Coffee of Marengo, Ohio. And these are the horses. Number one, hold this. Michael Graney and Donald Couch of Columbus, Ohio. Billy Walters driving. Number two, Atomic Blast. William Webb, Defiance, Ohio. David Lake, the driver. Number three, oh man. Calvin Lamb, Marion, Ohio. Dallas Miller. Number four, Katie's Brett. Clarence Long of Orient, Ohio with Mike Wilder. Number five, Tomba La Bamba. Tammy Ackley, London, Ohio. Dean Gillespie drives. Number six, Carolina Max. Three horsemen stable in Carver to Lexington, Kentucky with Dave Hawk. Number seven, on the light side. Frenchie Fuller of Ostrander, Ohio. Anthony Fuller drives. And number eight, Impatient Falcon. Norman Kruger and Roger Morlock of Ohio. Brett Miller in the sulky. Win plays show. Perfecta, trifecta wagering. Colton Gelding paces are all moving in behind. The great coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Facing going right up for the lead. Atomic blast on the inside. Hold this. Up on the outside. Carolina Max. Three wide. He into the dirt. Oh man. Gets away fourth. Katie's Brad pacing fifth. Going to the back side. Tumble up bumba. Racing six. Light sign seven. And the trailer's impatient. Falcon. Down the back side. Dave Hawk takes the lead with Carolina Max by a length and three quarters. Hold this. Racing second. Opening quarter and 28 flat he had the turn racing third atomic blast facing fourth oh man katie's bread racing fifth sixth is tomba la bomba racing seven light sign and trailing a bit impatient falcon adam moving on the outside first up oh man and dallas miller going after the leader carolina max coming to the halfway point carolina max halfway home 58 and 2. He head of the turn. Oh man, second goes back to the pylons. Hold this, racing third. Katie's Brett now caught first up on the outside with Wilder fourth. Racing to the back side. On the inside, light sign moves up. On the outside, Atomic Blast. Tomba La Bamba racing seven and moving up on the outside. Impatient Falcon from the way back. But on the front end, Dave Hawk and Carolina Max has opened up. 127, 28 and 3, third quarter. On top, Carolina Max trying to eat into that margin is O Man and Dallas Miller second. Racing third, hold this. Eighth of a mile to go and the battle's shaping up. Carolina Max on the inside. O Man on the outside. Down the stretch they come. Carolina Max, O Man on the outside. It's all Carolina Max. O Man second. Hold this, his third, 157. 382, 5-6. Set go, the winner, second race. Number six, Carolina Max. Three horsemen stable in Garford of Lexington, Kentucky. Dave Stratton drinks. Dave Hawk gets his 10th. Win of the week here at Delaware. 36th career win in Delaware, Ohio. Third win in 19 this season for Carolina Max. Four-year-old staff became best at Armed Road debutant. A winner in 157. Dave Hawk with 10 wins this week. Joins a select group of drivers who have scored 10 or more wins in a single week in Delaware, Ohio. David Miller, a man to Number four, Katie's Barrett. Five. Number five, Tomba La Bamba. Six.
McDonald Racing Stable of New Jersey, George Brennan driving. Number two, Sociable Sam. Westgate Motors Incorporated of Columbus, Ohio with Chip Noble. Number three, Regent Hall. Hoffler Brothers Stable of Sunbury, North Carolina with Brad Hanners. Number four, Brandino. Norman McVeigh and Wendy McVeigh at Fredericktown, Ohio. Norman McVeigh drives. The five, proper banner. Robert Sidley of Painesville, Ohio. The driver, Jamie Dunlap. And number six, Michael Q. Jones and Hunwick Farms, Gorbert of Galleon, Ohio. Jeff Fout in the Sulky. the turning gate. <laughs> Three-year-old Pacers are out on behind the gate. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. They're up and facing that region hall. Going for the lead with light source on the inside. Three wide on the outside, proper banner. On the inside, social Sam is fourth. Brandino gets away fifth, and Michael Q trails the field. George Brennan and Life Source have the lead. Brad Hanners went to the pylons with Regent Hall. Down the backside, Sociable Sam racing third. Proper banner fourth. Brandino fifth. The trailer, Michael Q. Opening panel 27 and four. He had the turn, go on to the 3 8 mark. Light Source has the lead by two. Regent Hall racing second. Sociable Sam third, racing fourth. The editor and proper Ben Brandino fifth. True in the field, Michael Q. As they pass the stand of the first time, coming to the halfway point. Light Source and George Brennan unchallenged to the half by two. Halfway home. 58 and 1. On to the back side. Regent Hall racing second. Sociable Sam is third. Racing fourth. Humper Banner racing fifth. Brandino. Trinity the field. Michael Q can see them all. Down the back side. Going to the three quarter mark. Light Source still leads. Racing second. Regent Hall. Sociable Sam third. On the move. Humper Banner. Now fourth. Now third. Three. Quarters, 126 and 3, 28 and 2, backside, and around the turn, Light Source and George Brennan open up by 3, Regent Hall second, Sociable Sam up the inside third, down the stretch they come, it's Light Source with the lead, Regent Hall, Light Source drawn away by 7, 153, 3 fifths. Regent Hall second. Sociable Sam was third. This time, moving to the winner's circle. Number one, Life Source. McDonald Racing Stable in New Jersey. Gio Holloway, the trainer. George Brennan in the sulky. Fourth win and 16 this season for the three-year-old gallon, but life sign of the she's pure silk. Coming home a winner, 153, three fifths. Final half, 55 and two. The final quarter, 27 seconds. Life source, George Brennan, 153, three fifths. Well, you can see a happy second trainer there, Travis Alexander, at the head of Life Source, who is the official winner in race three. These are the horses. Number one, American Frost. Robert Key of Leechburg, Pennsylvania. The driver, George Brennan. Number two, Starlet Dream. 
Lindy Racing Stable, Summersville, Connecticut. Mike LeChance drives. Number three, Song in Your Heart. E. McNulty of Lamont, Illinois. J.M. McCluskey of Battle Creek, Michigan. Mark O'Mara, the driver. Number four, Sharice Hanover. Harry Rutherford of Mount Pleasant, Ontario. John Campbell drives. Number five, Spring Photo. Rick Beinhauer of Venetia, Pennsylvania. J.M.T. Pavjarvi of Falls, Virginia. Rick Beinhauer drives. The sixth, familiar go. Michelle Moran of Lewis Center, Ohio. Chip Noble. And number seven is Big Blue Kitten, Crimson Lane and Sure and Stable of Indiana and New Jersey. And David Miller in her sulky. Trotters are on moving in behind the gate for the Bobcat. From the inside out, American Frost, Starlet Dream, Song in Your Heart, Cherise Hanover, Spring Photo, Familiar Go, Big Blue Kitten. And the gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Up and trotting, going right up for the lead. That's Spring Photo on the inside. American Frost second. Sharice Hanover up on the outside third. Starlet Dream gets away fourth. Fifth on the outside. Song in your heart. Racing six. Familiar go. Trotting the field. Big Blue Kitten. Down the backside they go. John Campbell to the front with Sharice Hanover. Spring Photo and Rick Beinhauer take the trip second. Racing third. American Frost. Hope Opening quarter in 29 seconds. End of the turn, going to the 3 8 mark. Starlet Dream trots fourth. Song in Your Heart is fifth. Sixth is Familiar Golden, the trailer Big Blue Kitten. At the 3 8 mark. Into the lane first time. Sharice Hanover shows the way by two. Spring Photo racing second. American Frost races third. Starlet Dream fourth. Song in Your Heart racing fifth. Familiar Golden. Six and Big Blue Kitten come to the outside. Halfway home in 59. That's second quarter and 30 seconds flat. Here comes Mike LeShance to the outside. Starlet Dream now fourth, now third. Moving up on the leaders. On to the backside. Charisse Hanover with the lead. Spring Photo second. Starlet Dream trotting up on the outside third. Racing fourth, American Frost. Big Blue Kitten fifth. Familiar goal set. Three quarters. One, 28, third quarter, 29 seconds. Into the final turn, Charisse Hanover with the lead. Starlet Dream second, Spring Photo racing third. Fourth on the inside, Big Blue Kitten. And down the stretch they come. Charisse Hanover and John Campbell. Starlet Dream on the outside, Spring Photo on the inside. Coming home, it's Charisse Hanover by five. Starlet Dream second, Spring Photo third, one, 57 and four. Number four, Sharice Hanover. Harry Rutherford of Mount Pleasant, Ontario. Brad Maxwell Train, John Gimble in the Saki. Trio Philip at Pine Jeff at a Cosmic Storm. Home a winner in 157, four fifths. Sharice Hanover, five wins in 12 starts this season. Final half, 58 and four. The final quarter, 29 and four. Sharice Hanover, driven by John Campbell, who picks up career win here at Delaware, number 112. By far the most by a driver in the history of racing here at the Delaware County Fair. The class act Campbell just keeps on winning. Owner Harry Rutherford of Mount Pleasant, Ontario, in the winner's circle to accept the Bucket Trophy for the first division. And it is number four, Sharice Hanover, and those results are official.
Bows, fifth race, Buckett, three-year-old trotting Philly, second division, $52,410, sponsored by the Lebanon Trotting Club. These are the horses. Number one, Sassy's Victory. And Smiley G, Smiley J, Sylvan, Samson's Reed Stable, Jimmy Tactor drives. Number two, Spring Melody. On train and driven by Richard Bynar, Venetia, Pennsylvania. Number three, doing the town. Went back farm and Barbara Baum, Maryland and Florida. Luke Ulat drives. Number four, Briggy Hanover. Chuck Sylvester, Lindy Racing Stable, Elnella DeVisser, Ian Goldman. John Campbell drives. The five, Echo Hanover, Peretti Farms, Alan Ritchie and Irving Liverman, the owners. Mike. Close shots. Number six, Boston Blaze. JMC Beaver, Don Gailey. M.A. McLaughlin of Ohio. Ray Paver Jr., the driver. Number seven, Anklet Hanover. Dale and A. William Price, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania with Brian Sears. And number eight, Texas winner. Robert Key of Leechburg, Pennsylvania. John Glassman, Flemington, New Jersey. George Brennan in her sulky. Bucket, Philly Trotters, Sassy's Victory, Spring Melody, Two in the Town, Briggy Hanover, Echo Hanover, Boston Blaze, Anklet Hanover, and Texas winner, and here they come. running that's Texas winner fast out of the gate to the front inside Sassy's victory up on the outside Bricky Hanover third he of the turn racing fourth racing to the backside at go Hanover off stride Bricky Hanover racing to the backside doing the town up now fourth Boston Blaze racing fifth Anklet Hanover sixth Bricky Hanover back trotting seven in the trailer spring melody following the break before the start Opening quarter in 29 and 4. He ended the turn, going to the 3 8 mark, moving on the outside. Mike LeShawn's in head go Hanover. Racing up on the outside. Here comes Luke Willard and doing a town. Now second. Texas winner racing third. Sassy's victory is fourth. Hanklin Hanover trots fifth. Sixth is Bricky Hanover. Trinity to be a bumped and blaze as he passes into the first time. Going by the half, 59, second quarter, 29 and 1, off stride, doing the town, racing to the back side, on top, Echo Hanover, racing second, Texas winner, Sassy's victory is third, Hanklet Hanover is now fourth, Briggy Hanover fifth, Spring Melody sixth, racing seven, Boston Blaze, and off stride, doing the town, trails, out comes Sassy's victory, and Jimmy Tactor, now third, now second, Second, three quarters, 128 and four. Third quarter, 29 and four. He entered the final turn. Echo Hanover on the inside. Sassy's victory on the outside. Gets ahead in front. Racing third, Texas winner. Anklet Hanover is fourth. He's got an eighth of a mile to go. Spring Melody closes fifth. On the outside, Sassy's victory has the lead. Echo Hanover second. Coming to the wire, it's all Sassy's victory. Echo Hanover second, Texas winner was third, what, 58 and four. Go. The winner of the second division of the back yet for three-year-old trotting fillies. First of $52,410. Number one, Sassy's victory. Ann and G, Smiley, J. Sylvan, Sampson Street Stable. Jim Tactor trains and drives. Three-year-old Philip of Victory Dream of Incredible Sassy. Home a winner in one, 58 and four. Final half, 59 and four. Final quarter in 30 seconds flat. Fifth win in 14. Lifetime starts for Sassy's Victory.
And this is a big win for Sassy's victory for two reasons, Dave. Number one, she now has a very good half-mile track record, which makes her even more valuable as a broodmare. Secondly, adding to her value, she's now a Grand Circuit Stakes winner for the moneymaker man, trainer-driver Jimmy Tactor. Number one, Flaming Rocky. Kenneth Reynolds, LaRue, Ohio. Dave Pine drives. Number two, Matta Spirit. Robert L. Dye, Jr., Quincy, Ohio. Jack Daly driving. Number three, Sober Sam. B.R. Whittle, Wilmington, Ohio. V&D Mays, Pleasant Plains, Ohio. Mike Wilder, the driver. Number four, Brooklyn's Bachelor. Mark Sandstrom, Northwood, Ohio, with David Miller. Number five, Presidential Pride. James Mullinix of Wasion, Ohio. Dave Hawk. Number six is Scratched. Number seven, Gifted Ruler. Charles and Charles D. Schrader of Mugador, Ohio. Brett Miller. And number eight, Nuke Gindrich. Jerry Suzzle of Columbus and Kathy Ratcliffe of Orient, Ohio. Dean Collins in the Sonky. Colton Gelding Pacers moving up and moving in. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Pacing Mattis Perry goes right up for the lead. Brooklyn's Bachelor on the outside. Inside Flaming Rocky up on the outside. Gifted Ruler gets away fourth. Sober Sam fifth. Presidential Pride racing sixth. Newt Gingrich trails the field. Down the backside going to the first quarter mark. David Miller and Brooklyn's Bachelor up on the outside. Nail to take the lead. Racing second. Mattis Perry opening quarter 27. Seven and two. He into the turn, racing third. As they race over to the three eighths mark, flaming Rocky pacing fourth. Gifted ruler is Brett Miller on the move. Now fourth, now third, moving up. Following the cover on the outside. Residential pride. As we got four in, three out. Coming to the halfway point. Brooklyn's bachelor with the lead. Gifted ruler challenging on the outside. Gets ahead in front, but can't clear. On the outside, now third, presidential pride. Mattis Ferry gives fourth. Up on the outside, Nuke Gingrich fifth. Flaming Rocky is sixth. Trinidad Super Sam. Going to the backside in the three-quarter mark. Halfway home in 58. Three wide, David Hawk and presidential pride. Now third, now second, going after the leader. Brooklyn's Bachelor racing on the inside. Now third. As they race into the turn, Mattis Ferrick, three quarters and one, 27 and one, 29 and one backside. Brooklyn's Bachelor continues to lead by a half. Presidential pride on the outside. So here comes Flaming Rocky, three wide on the outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Brooklyn's Bachelor on the inside. Flaming Rocky closing with every stride on the outside. Down the stretch, Brooklyn's Bachelor, Flaming Rocky on the outside. It's Brooklyn's Bachelor, David Miller, is back. To the winner's set go. Number four, Brooklyn's Bachelor. Mark Sundstrom of Northwood, Ohio, is the owner and the trainer. David Miller drives. Six-year-old Gallagher Armbrust Century to Keystone Almond. Fifth win, 22 this season. And with home winner in one fifty-eight. Brooklyn's Bachelor. Two in a row in Ohio. As David Miller gets his 95th career win. In Delaware, Ohio, third on the all-time list. The for the Brooklyn's Bachelor uh, picking up his fifth win in 22 tries this season. And Sam, anybody that still doubted David Miller was ready for the big time, uh, any doubts uh, went by the wayside when they saw a magician race in the uh, Breeders' Crown. That was a big win and a million dollars. Horses are on the track for the first division.
of the Jagat. Three-year-old Philly Pacers sponsored by Tanner Sows in the Red Mile. Total purse today, $300,671. This division for $36,081. First three finishers return for race 12, the second heat. These are the horses, number one, Eternal Camnation. Home to the Eternal Camnation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller drives. 14 of 20 lifetime. 941,000 to mark 151 and 2 at Woodbine. Number one, Eternal Cam Nation and Eric Ledford. Number two, Lady of the Sea. Fielding a quiet Milton, Ontario, and Stuart for lot of Orlando, Florida. Stu for lot trains. One of 11 lifetime, 159 at the worth the downs. Number two, Lady of the Sea and Tony Kerwood. Number three, Living with Art. Brittany Farms for sales, Kentucky Blair Burgess drives. Six of 21 lifetime, 328,000 in earnings, 151 at Woodbine. Number three, Living with Art and Dave Pallone. Number four, Reimburse. Perfect World Enterprise in Old Westbury, New York. Carl Conte trains. 7 of 27 a lifetime. 357,000 earnings. 151 at the Meadowlands. Number four, reimburse and Ronnie Pierce. Number five, only the best. Jeffrey Langfelder and Ephraim Spielman of Atlanta, Georgia. Joe Anderson trains. 10 of 20 lifetime. Earnings of $104,000. 150 and four at Woodbine. Number five, only the best, and John Kimball. And number six, musical dreamer. Rila Pine Stable, Jay Sanders, Shoot the Moon Stable, and Lightning Five Stable. Ron Coyne Jr. Turing's 11 of 20 lifetime. Earnings of $333,000, a mark of 150 and four at Balmoral. Number six, musical dreamer, and David Miller. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. First division, the Jagat. They're up and pacing. That's living with art. Going for the lead. Eternal Camnation on the inside. Outside, musical dreamer. Three wide. Lady of the Sea gets away. Fourth, reimbursed. Fifth, only the best. Trails the field. Racing to the back side of the first quarter mark. Up on the outside, musical dreamer and David Miller. Now to take the lead. Racing second, Eternal Camnation. Living with art. Races third. Lady of the Sea fourth. Hope and quarter to speed. 26 and 3. He of the turn. Racing fifth. Reimburse. To run in the field. Only the best. As they race around the turn. John Campbell from way back is moving. Only the best. Now six. Now fifth on the outside. Passing it into the first time. Eric Ledford moves Eternal Camp Nation to the outside. Musical dreamer on the inside. Second. Halfway home in 55. 28 and 2, second quarter. Racing third, living with art. Only the best up on the outside, fourth, as the race to the back side. Reimburse comes to the outside, fifth. Treading the field, Lady of the Sea, down the back side. Only the best once again to the outside, fourth. But on the front end, it's Ledford of Eternal Cam Nation opening up at the three quarters. One, 23, and one. Into the final turn, on top of the field, Eternal Cam Nation, racing second, only the best, moving on the outside third, that's reimbursed, living with art, racing fourth, down the stretch they come, no question about the winner, Eternal Cam Nation, they're fighting for the second and third spots, Eternal Cam Nation, only the best, and reimbursed, will come back for the second heat, one, 52 and 3, equaling the stakes record for the Jugget. Go. Winner of the first division of the Jugget. Number one, Eternal Cam Nation.
Home of the Eternal Damnation Stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana, G.F. Miller trains Eric Ledford in the Saki. Three-year-old Philip McCann the cool world. A winner in 152, three-fifths. Final half, 57 and three. Final quarter, 29 and two. Equaling the state's record for the Jaguette with the mile. That is the third win and eight starts this season for Eternal Cam Nation. Eric Ledford in the Salky getting his fourth win of the week here at Delaware. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get a bigger winner circle. Looks like the whole infield is filled up here. I, yeah. The stands are almost empty right now as everybody from uh, from uh, Haviland, Ohio, which is very close to uh, the Indiana border there from the Eternal Cam Nation stable in the winner's circle. Lots of smiles on the faces. Like Ellie talked about, Jeff Miller said this is the one race that we've pointed her for all year long. And I'll tell you what, she was just flat out awesome in this first to leave. Yeah, she's going to be uh, tough to handle in the uh, in the final coming up because she was simply sensational. They are 152 and three, and uh, should have plenty left in the tank because in the stretch she was pretty much cruising. Jim Hardesty, the man that uh, bought Eternal Cam Nation, was a groom and a second trainer for Jeff Miller, and uh, they worked together for a long time. Thanks, guys. Well, I spoke with Jeff Miller yesterday. I saw the filly. I watched her warm up. Jeff, you told me you were pointing her towards this race. Did you expect this type of performance? She equaled the stakes record, and it's a national season's record for three-year-old fillies. No, I really didn't. I, I, I thought I had a real good chance of winning. Like I said, I had a lot of confidence in the horse and in Eric. But uh, with, as windy as it is today, I, I thought this was a huge effort. And I, I did notice a little smile on Eric's face. So I, I think he's got more confidence now. So. When you and I spoke yesterday, we had talked about her two-year-old season. She was the two-year-old pacing filly of the year. And she's had her complications early in the season. You as a trainer, it just must take an unbelievable amount of patience to, to figure out what's wrong. Well, with like any woman, she's making me have patience, you know. I mean, whether I want to have him or not, she's forcing me to have him, but it's, uh, it's worth it. When you had her out of the stall yesterday, she seemed to be such a well-mannered filly, and, and she shows that out on the racetrack. Has she been like that from the beginning? Excuse me, I, I, I couldn't hear you. Has she been a well-mannered filly from the beginning of the, her, you know, her yearling year? Because she was well-mannered at the barn yesterday. She seems to be well-mannered on the track. Has she always had that type of mannerism? Yeah, uh, she's always been a well-mannered mare. Uh, when we break them, I, we take a long process of teaching them manners. And uh, I think she's just an example. You know, we, we don't worry too much about speed as we do class and, and, and patience and, and uh, being behaving because sometimes the manners cost you races and, and uh, but she you know she has a lot of class about herself and she seems to carry herself that way. Second heat coming up what do you expect? Uh, I expect another I expect a speed duel on the front end I, I don't know I, I I'm kind of fabricated by the the way she raced there you know I, I thought she'd give a big effort but I didn't think it'd be quite that big. Congratulations winning the first heat post braids up next for the second division of the Jughead. Three-year-old Philly pays for $36,081. Total purse, $300,671. Sponsored by Tattersalls and the Red Mile. These are the horses. Number one, Mississippi. Charles and Julie are Francine Nash of Lexington, Kentucky. Brett Schultz trains to a 10 lifetime. 24,000 in earnings, 155 at Hoosier Park. The one, Mississippi, and the driver, Eric Ledford. Number two, Popcorn Penny. John Lay and Anderson Racing Incorporated, Jane Cummins of Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains. Five of ten. Lifetime 150 and four at Balmoral. Number two, Popcorn Penny and Ryan Anderson. Number three, Arts Virtue. Arlene and Jewel Sigal of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Jim Campbell trains. Ten of 17 lifetime. Earnings $935,000. 150 and three at the Meadowlands. The three, Arts Virtue and John Campbell. Number four, Armbro Terrace. Armstrong Brothers, Inglewood, Ontario. Ben Wallace trains. Five of 21 lifetime. 286,000 in earnings. 155 at Mohawk. The four, Armbro Terrace and David Miller. Number five, Delta Shuttle. Robert Heemstra of Estero, Florida. 
Ed Hart trains. Seven and 19 lifetime, 208,000 earnings, 152 and one at the Meadowlands. The five, Delta Shuttle and Ron Pierce. Number six, full of life, Brittany Farms for Sales Kentucky, Alan Regal trains. Nine of 18 this season, 91,000 earnings, 153 and two at Hoosier Park. The six, full of life and Mike Lachance. And number seven is Penny Thing Goes. Peter Pan Stables and Carpet of Pepperbike, Ohio. Ivan Sug Trains, 7 of 25 lifetime, 384,000 in earnings, 154 at the Meadowlands. The seven, Panny Thing Goes, and George Brennan. Second division, Jugget, three year old Philly Pace from the inside out, Mississippi. Popcorn Penny, Arts Virtue, Armbro Terrace. Delta Shuttle, full of life. Anything goes. The Great Coon starting gate swings into the stretch, and here they come for the second division of the Jagger. Often facing Arts Virtue goes to the lead with Popcorn Penny on the inside. Racing third, Armbro Terrace. Fourth on the outside, full of life. Racing up fifth as they race around the turn. Delta Shell now fourth. Racing sixth down the backside. It's Mississippi and trailing the field off stride. Penny then goes. Going to the first quarter mark. Popcorn Penny. Opening quarter 26 and 2. As they race into the turn, going to the 3 8 mark. Hearts Virtue racing second. Moving up on the outside. Ron Pierce and Delta Shadow. Now second and going right on. After the leader, David Miller comes to the outside with Armbro Terrace as they pass the 10 of the first time. Full of life, racing fifth. Mississippi is sixth as they race over to the half. The trailer Penny Thing goes halfway home. 55 and 3. 29 and 1, second quarter to the backside. Ryan Anderson and Popcorn Penny on top of the field. Up on the outside, Devil Shadow second. Racing third, locked in is Arts Virtue. Moving down the backside, Armbro Terrace is fourth. Racing fifth, full of life. Those five of start battling it out, going to the three quarter mark. Three wide on the outside. Coming on, David Miller and Armbro Terrace. Three quarters, 120. 24 and 1, 28 and 3, third quarter. Popcorn Penny with the lead. Humbro Terrace on the outside, second. Trapped on the inside. Arts Virtue off stride, but comes right back pacing. Now three wide. Down the stretch they come. Popcorn Penny in front. Second, Armbro Terrace finishing third. Arts Virtue, 1, 53 and 4. The stands and moving to the winner's circle. Number two, Popcorn Penny. John Lee and Anderson Racing Incorporated in Jane Cummings of Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains, making his first driving appearance in Delaware, Ohio, a winning one, 20 year old Ryan Anderson. Three old Philip Dragons Lair to dual tracks. Sixth win in 11 this season. Pacing home a winner in 153 and 4. Final half 58 and 1. The final quarter 29 and 3 fifths. Popcorn Penny and Ryan Anderson win the second division of the Jagger. Yeah. Sure is a big filly, isn't she, Dave? Popcorn Penny scoring here in 153 and 4. And Ryan Anderson just has to be tickled to death with this one. Well, we heard from Joe Anderson with Trish in the backside. Chances are we'll hear his impressions after the race pretty soon with Ellie, too, as uh, Popcorn Penny makes her way back to the paddock area after winning the eighth race, second elimination of the Jughead, and that result is official. Results are official. Three-year-old Philly Pace. $36,081 this division. Total purse, $300,671. Sponsored by Tattersalls and the Red Mile. These are the horses. Number one, Hawaiian Flash. Roger C. and Roger C. Bartley Jr. of Ohio. 
Ron Stack Turing's 16 of 26 lifetime, 295,000 in earnings, 150 and four at Woodbine. Number one, Hawaiian Flash and Ron Stack. Number two, best laid plans. John Gorshak, the third of Warwick, New York, Monty Gelrod, Turing's. Nine of 32 lifetime, 261,000 in earnings, 151 at the Meadowlands. Number two, best laid plans and Luke Ulat. Number three, Michelle's Fantasy. Jeffrey Snyder in New York, New York. Ed Hart Turing's nine of 30 lifetime, 395,000 earnings, 154 at Maywood. Number three, Michelle's Fantasy and John Kimball. Number four, Presidential Speed. Millar Farms of Newmarket, Ontario. Greg McNair Turing's three of 22 lifetime. Earnings of $67,000, mark of 155 and a qualifier at Mohawk. The four, Presidential Speed and Tony Kerwood. Number five, Armbro Ticket. John Burns of Ontario and Fielding Equine of Ontario. John Burns trains three of 25 lifetime. Earnings of $102,000, 153 and four at the Meadows. Number five, Armbro Ticket and Greg Wright. Junior. Number six, hot and humid. Dan Altmeyer, Richard Kelson and Barry Waiter of Pennsylvania. Dan Altmeyer trains, eight of 30 lifetime, 129,000 in earnings, 154 at the Meadows. Number six, hot and humid. And Dave Pallone. And number seven, in for life. Southern Cross Table, Triple T Racing Table in New York. Carl Conte Jr. trains. Two of 11 this year, 186,000 in earnings, 150 and four at Woodbine. Number seven, in for life and Daniel Dubay. Jagat, third division. Hawaiian Flash, best laid plans, Michelle's Fantasy, Presidential Speed, Armed Road Ticket, Hot and Humid, and in for life. And here they come. Third division, the Jagat. Off and pacing in a Hawaiian flash goes right out for the lead. Taking a seat, second best laid plank up on the outside. Arm road ticket now third, now second going on for Greg Wright Jr. Racing fourth, Michelle's fantasy down the backside. Presidential speed fifth, hot and humid is six. Treading the field, going to the first quarter mark. Yeah. In for life, opening panel, 26 and one. They're getting faster every division in that first quarter. On the outside, Armbro ticket is hung by Hawaiian Flash. Racing third, best laid plans. Racing fourth, Michelle's Fantasy. Fifth is Presidential Speed. Into the stretch first time. In for life from way back goes three wide. Up the inside, hot and humid as they race over to the halfway. Point 55 and one. Second quarter and 29. Off stride in for life. Racing to the back side in the five eights. Hawaiian Flash has been pressured every step. Racing all over Ronstadt's shoulder and helmet. His best laid plans. Backing off his arm road ticket. Three wide around the horses. That's Michelle's fantasy. Now third. Dave Pallon and hot and humid. Up the inside. Fourth. Three quarters. One. Twenty-four and two. Twenty-nine and one. Third quarter. Around the final turn. Hawaiian Flash continues to lead. On the outside. Best laid plans. Now second and going on. Hot and humid is third. Michelle's fantasy fourth. Down the stretch they come. Best laid plans, Hawaiian flash, hot and humid, closing on the outside, coming to the wire, best laid plans, here they are, hot and humid, second, Hawaiian flash, third, one, 53 and four. Stands and going to the winner's circle, winner of the third division of the Jagat, number two, best laid plans, John Gorshak, the third of Warwick, New York, Monty. Gelrod, the trainer. Real Philippe Cam Bastard of Wendy Ann Hanover gets the 10th win.
in 33 lifetime starts. Comes home a winner. 153 and four. Final half, 58 and three. The final quarter, 29 and two. Best laid plans. Left in the winner circle for the third division of the Jagat. Monty Gelride looking pretty sporty out there in his uh, polo t-shirt and shorts as uh, best laid plans from his barn owned by John Gorshank III of New York. Gets the job done here with Luke Willett in the sulky and what a year it's been for Luke Willett. And he drove Hawaiian Flash to that big mile up in Canada, 150 and four, and drove her in the Fan Hanover final, and she tired on the lead there, so he probably said, well, what the heck, I'll just draft along behind and take my chances. Especially off of that speed duel, uh, he had to know if he was able to get out, he would win it, and uh, seem, things usually seem to work out for Lukey for the best. He made a good decision there, uh, stayed in, and then had enough in the stretch to get there. Certainly uh, wasn't exactly overpowering, though. So, ninth race. Number two, best laid plan for the post. Tenth race, Ohio Breeders' Championship two-year-old Colton Gelding Pace. Sponsored by Biomet Ross. Purse of $52,290. These are the horses. Number one, Tudor Lane. George Shield of Monroeville, Ohio. Brett Miller drives. Number two, Magic Manor. Charles W. Miller, Wasion, Ohio. Luke Ulat. Number three is Meadowland Partner. T.F. Hoofler, Patascla. P.S. Matters, Washington, Pennsylvania. Jamie Dunlap, the driver. The four, Magic Brew. Lisa Love, McConnellsville, Ohio. James Pantoliano. Number five, Knockout Sabra. Ron Postody of North Canton, Ohio. David Miller drives. The six is Ed Who. Joyce and Richard McClellan of Zanesville, Ohio with Mike Wilder. The seven, come on, come on, come on. Jay Shummers, Pipperton. And Metters, Reynoldsburg, Ohio, Brad Hanners. Number eight, KG Bird, PH and G McCann of Groveport, T Lane, Delaware, Ohio, Dennis Miller. And number nine, Arizona Lover, Charles Meyer of Ottawa, Ohio, Dave Hawk in the Pacers Zonky. are moving up and moving in for the 10th Ohio Breeders' Championship two year old Colt and Gelding Pace. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Was that the judges, Ted? Come on, Drew! Drew off and pacing Magic Manor goes for the lead. On the middle of the track, Magic Brew. Three wide on the outside as they race around the turn. Go on to the first date. That's knockout Sombra as they race to the backside. Racing fourth, Tudor Lane pacing fifth. Down the backside, Arizona Lover from the second tier. And Dave Hawk immediately goes to the outside. Go on to the first quarter mark. Up on the outside, knockout Sombra to take the lead. Opening panel 27 and 1. Into the turn, Magic Brew second. Up on the outside. Side. That's Arizona Lover, now second and going right on. Magic Manor racing fourth around the turn. Tudor Lane races fifth, closing ground. Ed Who now six, racing seven. Come on, come on, come on. The end of the stretch, they come for the first time. Moving up on the outside, following the cover is KG Bird inside. As they race around the turn and turn in the field, Meadowland partner halfway home, 56 and 3, 29 and 2, second quarter, racing to the backside. Arizona Lover has the lead. Knockout Sabra is second, third on the outside, Tudor Lane. On the inside, Magic Brew, fourth, three wide, Ed Who 
On the outside, four wide, KG Bird. He at the three quarter mark, 126 and two, 29 and four, third quarter. He into the final turn on top, Arizona Lover. On the outside, KG Bird and Dell S. Miller with every stride. Looked him in the eye and went right on by. Tudor Lane racing third on the outside. Come on, come on, come on. Down the stretch they come. KG Bird with the lead. Come on, come on, come on on the outside, but it's all. KG Bird, come on, come on, come on. Second, home third. Arizona Lover, one, 57 and one. Go, the winner of the Ohio Breeders Championship, two-year-old coat and gelding pace. First division, number eight, KG Bird. Peter and Gail McCann of Grootport, Ohio. T. Lane, Delaware, Ohio. Jim Marley Jr. trains. Dell S. Miller gets his third of the week here at Delaware. Fourth win in 10 this season for the two year old Colt with Falcon Alma Hurst at a KG Mert. Facing home the winner this afternoon in 157 1 5. KG Bird, Dell S. Miller. Official number eight, KG Bird, the winner. Horses are on the track and ready to post. The 11th race, Ohio Breeders Championship, four and five year old senior pays for $19,600, sponsored by Cheap Chase Village Luxury Affordable Apartments. These are the horses. Number one, Speedy AJ. Curie Patel of Springfield, Ohio, Dan Purdue trains. Luke Ulat drives from post seven, the one, Speedy AJ. 1A of Sun Trek, Shakiri Patel of Springfield, Ohio, Dan Purdue trains. Daniel Dupe drives from post 10, the 1A Sun Trek. Number two, Make Me Proud, Ty. Ed Mullen, XMM, Hearst, Ohio, Dan Purdue trains. Ron Pierce from post one, the two, Make Me Proud, Ty. Number three, Willie Earnelot. Timothy Humrick and Eric Ledford of Ohio and Illinois. Eric Ledford from post two, the three, Willie Ernala. Number four, Indian Fever. Outback Stables of Ottawa, Ohio. Dave Hawk for post three, the four, Indian Fever. Number five, Mr. Peabody. J. Dean of Springfield and P.A. Dean of South Charleston, Ohio. Brett Miller from post four, the five, Mr. Peabody. Number six is, come on, Sloopy, hang on. Summers and Churches of Ohio, the owners. Jamie Dunlap drives from post five, the six. Come on, Sloopy, hang on. The seven, Brutal Force. Gerald Goldberg of Pepperbike, Ohio. John Campbell from post six, the seven, Brutal Force. Number eight, Skyway Falcon. Richard Brooks of Brookville, Ohio. David Miller from Post 8, the 8 Skyway Falcon. And number 9, Victor Bloom. Bob Colley of Asheville, Ohio. Curtis Prize of Marion, Ohio. George Brennan from Post 9, the 9, Victor Bloom. Moving up and moving in. For the 11th Ohio Breeders' Championship, four and five-year-old senior pace. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. <laughs> They're up and pacing, come on, Sloopy, hang on, goes right up for the early lead. Make me proud, tie on the inside, racing third, Indian Fever. As he rakes into the turn from the second tier, Victor Bloom gets away, fourth off stride. Make me proud, Ty. Down the back side, come on, Sloopy, hang on. Has the lead, Indian Fever, second. Victor Bloom racing, third on the outside, Mr. Peabody, fourth. Centric, fifth. Opening panel, 27 and one. He into the turn, going to the three-eighths mark on the inside. Speedy AJ racing, six. Seven on the outside, Brutal Force racing, eight. Willie earn a lot on the outside, Skyway Falcon and treading the field. Following the break, make me proud, Ty. 
into the lane first time. Dave Hawk has moved to the front with Indian Fever as they pass it into the first time. Hup on the outside, Mr. Peabody second. Come on, Slippy, hang on third. Halfway home, 57. Second quarter, 29 and four. With the cover on the outside, it's Sun Trick as they race over to the five-eighths mark. Racing on the inside, it's PDAJ racing up now. On the outside, starting to fade is Brutal Force. Down the backside, Indian Fever, the one to catch. Three wide, Sun Trick moves on the outside for Dan Dubay. Between horses, he end of the turn, Mr. Peabody. Three quarters, 125 and two. 28 and two, third quarter. Three of them across the track. And on the outside, Sun Trick has taken the lead now from Indian Fever. Here comes Skyway Falcon on the outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Sun Trick with the lead. Indian Fever. Skyway Falcon closing on the outside. Sun Trick with the lead. About a second and third. And here they are. Skyway Falcon with second. Come on, Sloopy. Hangs on. Circle. 1A. Sun Trick. Security Patel of Springfield, Ohio. Dan Purdue trains. Danielle. Dupe drives. Sun trick, four-year-old style of Cam's magic trick. A look to the sun. A winner in 155. Three fifths. Final half, 58 and three. The final quarter, 30 and one fifth. Sun trick and Daniel Dupe win the Ohio Breeders Championship. Four and five-year-old senior pace. Danielle Dubé is another guy who uh, was in the right place at the right time, racing on a regular basis at Yonkers and some at Freehold, was trying the Meadowlands on Yonkers Dark Nights, and then uh, some drivers had some problems and were not allowed to drive for a while uh, last year, so Dubé hopped in and started to get quite a few drives, and the rest, they say, is history. Yep, you're not kidding. It's really uh, had an unbelievable year thus far in the year 2000, and uh, still the great things ahead of him. And those French-Canadian drivers are known on five even. 1869 Super for a buck, $10,414.50 circle. For more on the Senior Breeders' Championship pace, here's Ellie. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm joined by another trainer today, and this is Dan Perdue. He sent out a three in this uh, Ohio Championship uh, race, and you have to tell me now, you had three in, one had post one, one had post ten, and the other had post seven. Who did you think had the strongest shot in here? I liked Sun Trick. I thought he would do and uh, make me proud Ty coming off the rail I thought could be there too. Uh, well, how about post position 10 though? That was tough. He's tough behind the gate. I thought that may be a problem. Well, a trailer position on a half mile track without a passing lane, you're pretty much at the mercy of what happens up front. Uh, Daniel du Dubé did an excellent job getting him a second over trip. Yes, he did. He did a super job and, and it, it is tough from the second tier on a half mile track and, and with a horse like that that's hard to hold behind the gate, it makes it even worse. Well, I talked to Joe Anderson a little bit earlier about the track surface. He said it was a little deep. Do you think the rain may have helped tighten it up some? No, no, I think it made it a little sticky and a little slower maybe. It was a little deep, but I think the deepness and the rain made it a little sticky. All right, well, Dan, congratulations. Winnie went sun trick, and we're going to go back to the booth, guys. Thanks, Ellie. Dave, last year we had the heavy rains. I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, and the track got very sticky here at Delaware. They didn't expect it to rain. Horses are on the track and bring the post for the second heat of the Jagat. Three-year-old Philly Pace. This for a purse of $162,361. Sponsored by Tattersalls and a Red Mile. These are the horses. Number one, Eternal Camnation. Eternal Camnation, Stable Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller trains. Eric Lentford drives. Number two, Best Laid Plants. John Gorshak, the third of Warwick, New York. Monty Gelrod trains. Luke Willat drives. Number three, Popcorn Penny. John Lynn Anderson Racing and Corbett and Jane Cummings, Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains. Ryan Anderson, the driver. Number four, Hot and Humid. Dan Altmeyer, Richard Kelston, Barry Waiter of Pennsylvania. Altmeyer trains. Dave Pallone drives. Number five, Armbro Terrace, Armstrong Brothers, Inglewood, Ontario, Ben Wallace trains, David Miller, the driver. Number six is scratched. Number seven, Hawaiian Flash, 
Roger C. Bartley and Roger C. Bartley Jr. of Ohio, Ron Stick, trains and drives. Number eight, reimburse. Perfect World Enterprise of Old Westbury, New York, Carl County Jr. trains, Ron Pierce, the driver. Number nine, Arts Virtue. Arlene and Jewel Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Jim Campbell trains, John Campbell in the sulky. Colonel Chem Nation, best laid plans, popcorn penny, hot and humid, Yarn Road Terrace, Hawaiian Flash, Maria Bersini outside, Arts Virtue, the trailer, the great coon starting gate, swings into the stretch and here they come for the second heat of the jug, yeah. Dropping, pacing that's best laid plans right out to grab the early lead. Popcorn Penny on the outside. Eternal Cam Nation gets away third. Popcorn Penny is off stride. Racing to the backside. Best laid plans with the lead. Eternal Cam Nation Sakya. Down the backside. Arts Virtue racing third. Hot and humid fourth. On the outside coming back. Popcorn Penny. In next is Umbro Terrace, opening quarter 27 and one. Up and moving on the outside, Eric Leopard to the front with Eternal Kim Nation. A racing second best laid plans. Back on the outside, Popcorn Penny, now third. Arts Virtue tip to the outside. Now fourth, second up. The end of the stretch, first time. Marmbro Terrace on the outside. Hot and humid on the inside. Hawaiian Flash on the outside. Inside reimbursed. Four in, four out. Halfway home, 55 and one. Second quarter in 28. Bear it out, Popcorn Penny and up between horses. Arts Virtue and John Campbell. Now third, now second. Going after the leader, Eternal Cam Nation. Inside, best laid plans, racing third. Down the backside to go. Racing fifth, hot and humid. Hawaiian flash on the outside. Reimbursed, three quarters, 124, 28 and four. Backside. A little more than eight to go. Eternal Cam Nation with the lead. Best laid plans racing second. Arts Virtue tires on the outside third. Here comes Best Laid Plans and the battle's on. Eternal Cam Nation. Best laid plans on the outside. Best laid plans. Eternal Cam Nation. They're fighting to the wire. And it's a photo of the way. Oh, my One. Jeff, where's Jeff? Get up the horse. Eternal Cam Nation, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller, the trainer. Eric Ledford gets an early birthday present because his birthday is tomorrow here at Delaware, Ohio. George Siegel representing Tattersalls in the Red Mile for the presentation of the trophy to winning trainer Jeff Miller. Okay, on behalf of the Tattersalls Red Mile, to Mr. Miller and Eric Ledford and all the people that own Internal Cam Nation, a great champion. Jeff Miller, they, the owner said you could accept the trophy. A gutty performance today by Eternal Cam Nation. Oh, a great performance. Uh, you know, big miles into the win, and, you know, Eric knows it so well, and has so much confidence in her, and I have so much confidence in Eric. It's a, it's a winning combination today. She is now a millionaire. I, I would never believe this. But I Thanks, guys. Well, I'm joined by the winning driver, Eric Letford, and uh, an early birthday present, I must say. But, you know, I spoke to Jeff Miller yesterday about Eternal Cam Nation. He said he aimed her for this Here race. The and then talking to him well today, placed. he was so pleased Top with her performance. Well, you had different driving Three strategy, I think, six. in the second heat. It looked as Only if you best. really didn't want right. to sprint out of there. Can you tell me about the Top first part of the race? Back. Well, uh, the way the race is going to set up, I feel he's fast off the rail. Uh, she does have a lot of gate speed. 
but uh, the horses leave it on top of me. Had actually they had a little more, and they've got a little more momentum from where they was coming from. And um, you know, I didn't feel like I should buzzer the first eighth and win her early, and uh, try to make a move to the front somewhere in the mile. So you were just going to try to take her off the gate, wait for the dust to settle, and then retake the lead at the quarter pole. Well, it pretty much worked out when Ryan Anderson went off stride with uh, Popcorn Penny. So at that point, you made your move. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, Popcorn Penny made a break in the first turn, and uh, that allowed me to get back onto Luke's back without any trouble, and then I made my move at the quarter ball. Well, now she got back pacing and pressured you to the half, and uh, at one point it looked as if you wanted to grab her and give her a little breather. Was there any part of the mile that you did end up giving her that breather? Uh, a little bit coming to the half. Uh, you know, the, the middle half actually for her tonight or today rather was, uh, was not that difficult. Second quarter was actually a pretty good breather and uh, and I didn't have to start racing her again until heading down the backside. Were you confident going into the second heat? Yeah, I was very confident, uh, as confident as you could be. These fillies have never been two heats before. Um, you know, you don't know how any of them is going to react to it and how they will respond. And I did have to go relatively fast in the first heat, uh, which was a concern, but uh, she felt good today and uh, she was just there. Now, everybody wants to draw the rail, but uh, does that put more pressure on you as a driver? No, not really. Uh, you know, if you got the rail, you, you own the racetrack. Um, you know, the, the pressure uh, put it on me. <laughs> well, happy birthday again. Congratulations winning the jug at with Eternal Cam Nation. It was a world record performance by that Philly. Congratulations to all her connections. Guys? Marysville, Ohio, Jason Moore derives. Number seven, Master Joe. Russell Engelbeck of Dublin, Ohio with Adam Rucker. And number eight, Michael Spur. John and Fran X down of Lewis Center, Ohio. Jamie Dunlap in the sonky. Win play show, perfected, trifecta. First half, the daily double on the 13th. In the, the 14 Pacers. Moving in behind the starting gate. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. Pacing back door and slider, going right out to grab the lead. Call me to get away, second up on the outside. As they're racing to the turn, Master Joe racing for the attaboy Charlie. On to the backside, Osborne's Falcon racing fifth, sixth is Zach Sam racing seven, Tarski. Down the backside, treading the field, Michael Spur. Going to the first quarter mark on top, back door and slider, opening quarter in 28 seconds. End of the turn, going to the three eighths, the outside, Master Joe going the long mile today. Racing third, call me new. Racing fourth, tipping to the outside, at a boy, Charlie. Racing fifth, Osborne's Falcon, moving up on the outside. Tarski, passing a 10 of the first time, coming to the halfway point. On top of the field, back door slider. They go by the half. 57 and 3. Second quarter, 29 and 3. On to the back side in the 5 8. Master Joe hanging tough on the outside second. Call me Duke racing third. The outside Tusky races four. Racing to the back side, going three wide. Jason Moore and Tusky. On the inside, attaboy, Charlie fifth. Here comes Osborne's Falcon. On the move on the outside between horses. The end of the turn, Zach Sam inside. Three quarters, 126 and three. Third quarter and 29. The one to catch, backdoor slider. Call me new, comes to the outside second. Attaboy, Charlie third. Eighth of a mile to go. Backdoor slider on the inside. Call on the outside, Attaboy Charlie third and down the stretch they come. Backdoor slider, call me Duke on the outside. Backdoor slider, what? 55 and four. Well, number three, backdoor slider. BL and RL Walls, Greenville, Ohio. R Hastings, Lynchburg, Ohio. Bruce Walls trains. Mike and the Green Machine Wilder go to the winner's circle for the eighth win this week at Delaware. Three-year-old Colt, the Noble Land Salmon to follow my mom. 155 and four.
58 and one final half, final quarter 29 and one. Fourth win and 13 this season for backdoor slider. And the results are official. Field of 10 at one mile. The purse $52,290. The one is Meadowland Don. Of Tamara Hoobler, Potanskala, and Mike Metters of Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Jamie Dunlap, the driver. Number two, Caviar Jackson. Of Judith Chafee and Clarence Chafee of Virginia for Dallas Miller. Three is Magic Dart, held by Roger Morlock of Valley City, handled by Brett Miller. Four, Will Strutt, held by Asher Racing Stable of South Lebanon. Drivers change Mike Lachance. Lachance drives the four. Five, Cam's Matty Finish, held by Shakari Patel of Springfield, Ohio. Drivers change Danielle Dubé. Dubé drives the five. Number six, Skipper Duncan, owned by Kirk and Frazier of Ohio for Mike Wilder. Seven, four C's, owned by Richard Elwood of Lancaster, Ohio, driven by Brad Hanners. Eight, Bulldog, big guy, owned by Robert Sidley of Painesville, handled by John Campbell. The nine, Silent Sammy, owned by Charles Meyer of Ottawa, George Brennan in the bike. The second division for Ohio Breeders Championship. Two-year-old pacing, Colton Gilding, sponsored by Biomet Ross. Lining up, moving in. The gate swings into the stretch for the start. Here they come. They're off, and Magic Dart powers out, looking for the lead. Caviar Jackson right there to the inside, and from the far outside, Cole Pocket off the back row, up to Challenger Lee. Middle on to Don on the inside, coming away in third, and on the at the rail in fourth is Silent Sammy. Next in five, Skipper Duncan on the inside, gapping sixth, Will Strutt. Next in seventh is Cam's Matty Finish. To the outside as they move down the back stretch, Bulldog Big Guy, and the uh, trailer is four C's. They reach the quarter, a hard fought 27 1. And on the outside, now to take command as they move through the far turn, it's Caviar Jackson. So Caviar Jackson and Cole Pocket exchanging spots here, and then a gap of two likes in third to Magic Dart. Coming to the outside, fourth now, Meadowland Don, and on the inside, racing in fifth as they come to the half, it's Silent Sammy. They come to the half, and it's Caviar Jackson for the lead. On the outside, Meadowland Don. Down to the inside of third is Magic Dart, and Cole Pocket is down inside the pylons. And to the outside, and moving up now, here comes Cam's Matty Finish. He's racing fifth. Alongside in sixth, Will Strutt. The halftime was 57 flat. Off the turn to the back stretch. Caviar Jackson has that lead. Three parts of a length. Here comes Meadowland Don coming at him and coming on. Magic Dart on the outside is right there, racing in third. And racing fourth as they come to three quarters. It's Will Strutt and Cam's Matty Finish. Three quarters, 126 and two. Battling on the front. On the inside, it's Caviar Jackson. Outside, Meadowland Don. Magic Dart winning four room on the outside. And now he swings three wide as they turn for home. In, on the inside, Caviar Jackson. Meadowland Don on the outside. And Magic Dart is flipping three wide into deep stretch. It's Caviar Jackson. Caviar Jackson will win it for Del Miller. Brett Miller second with Magic Dart. And Meadowland Don was third in 156. For fans. Winner of the second division, Ohio Breeders Championship 2000, number two, Caviar Jackson. A brown colt by Towner's Big Guy, out of Sweet Desire by Sun Sam. Oh, by Judith Chafee and Clarence Chafee Jr. of Vienna, Virginia. Jim Arledge Jr. trains Del S. Miller in the Sonky. The third career win for Caviar Jackson. Home a winner in 156 for fans.
not nearly as crowded a winter circle as we saw with the <laughs> eternal damnation in the Jughead, huh, guys? No. Nope. Roger, is that the most people you've ever seen out there? Uh, for Delaware, probably it, it is. Uh, I didn't get a chance to count them or anything like that, but... Uh, well, you can't count you have that. To take a, you have to take Not a census quick. for that, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it, it's very hard to count the Delaware Winter Circle because I'm down there ground level. You can't see everybody, but uh, I'll tell you, one of the most manageable groups I've ever seen in the Winter Circle. We actually could present the trophy without being trampled to <laughs> death. <laughs> Three, Caviar Jackson, the winner.